They're pretty new to the game. Celebrated their one year anniversary at the Tampa show. We'll show you as we go on the outside and the inside, they do a really good job of just like the little things, putting the sealant where it belongs, like things that should be acceptable and done normally, they do that. There's also something inside that's gonna well, blow your mind. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RVing. We finally got to it guys. A lot of you have requested or want information on the Brinkley. So behind us, we have a 2024. This is the Brinkley model Z2900. This is a mid-profile fifth wheel. Guys, at the Tampa show, the Brinkley booth was insane, and for good reason. This is a beautiful fifth wheel. We're gonna take you on a full exterior and interior tour. So here's the disclaimer. Unlike the Tampa show, Hershey show, where we get there before the show starts, we are at the Northeast RV show up here in Rockland County, New York, but we are amongst everybody right now. So there's gonna be people walking in and out. We're gonna to try to do the best we can. So please just bear with us and just know we can't open and close slides. They're gonna be open, all right? So let's start right in front. They're pretty new to the game. I believe they just celebrated their one year anniversary at the Tampa show. So they haven't been around that long, but the owners, the founders have a lot of experience coming out of grand design. So their purpose was to make a fifth wheel different quality, listening to customers, doing things differently. And you're going to see a lot of those aspects as we show you around this fifth wheel. So right up front, you have a fully painted front cap and you can see the Brinkley, the LED lighting, Rhino box, pin box, I'll give you specs as we continue along with this tour. Now, if you look right up here, one thing that they do different, just watch your head, hun. So this comes with, uh, it already has solar panels on it. It also comes pre-wired for a generator. So that's not something additional you have to pay for. It's all set up and you can just get the generator in here, wired up pretty easily. Also on the front here, you can see that the cargo base, they have the latches to hold on. So it will keep the door up, fiberglass base, and it does have the slant latches, which you can lock also. I like slam latch doors. Yeah, and this, it is fiberglass, the whole construction's fiberglass, but these are heavy doors. Yeah, you can hear it when and you close thick. it. And they're thick. They really secure nicely. Now this has four point level on this particular unit, because this is coming in just shy of 33 feet. Now you have fiberglass walls. This does not have full body paint. I believe on the higher end models, you can get the full body paint, but we're gonna tell you what the price point is on this one. And it's, it's very aggressive for what you get, what you're paying for. So you see the decals here. A lot of things that they do different, if you, first of all, look at the design, it's kind of a, a little more arrow looking. And then the windows, squared out, frameless windows, you have an awning over the passenger side front here. And then continuing down the passenger side, it comes standard with dual 30 pound propane, you can fit up to 40 pounds of propane in here. So you can have dual 40 pound propane tanks if you want. And again, these close off and they seal nicely. We'll show you as we go on the outside and the inside, they do a really good job of just like the little things, putting the sealant where it belongs, like things that should be acceptable and done normally, they do that. So let's get- There's also something inside that's gonna we'll, blow your mind. We'll let you uh, follow that inside. So <laughs> again, 32 feet, 11 inches is so a smaller unit. But look at the amount of pass-through storage you have on here. And the way it's finished out, it kind of has like a rubber finish. You have complete disconnect of your 12 volt system. I love those lights, it's so bright in there. Yep, it's very bright. You don't see any kind of wires hanging. Everything's tucked behind here. Your connection for satellite, GFCI double outlets. You have lights in here, as well as an outdoor shower on the passenger side, plus you have an outdoor shower on the driver's side. Now the entry door is on a friction hinge and you also have a catch here. So if you want to lock it, you can do that. More ride, one, two, three, four steps to get in. So it comes right down to the ground. So if you have any kind of mobility issues, you can see you can come in here. They also have the safety rail, which just will kind of fold up, but you have a full extendable rail. Couple other options here. It's screened in, so you have the Lippert screen defender. So if you have pets, they can't rip up your screen. You have the Lippert screen assist. So you want to close and open the door very easily. The screen door, you can do that. And one other thing I want to show you, I haven't seen on any other RV, whether it's fifth wheel trailer, motorhome, RV lock standard, which is pretty awesome. We have an RV lock on our unit. You can set up your own combination. 
and it's not keyed like every other RV that's out there. So continuing down on the passenger side, you have another slot. I'm trying to cover the price, guys, so just bear with me. We'll talk a little bit about more of the axles, the tires, and the wheels that they put on here. So talking about the axles is directly from their website. They have heavy-duty 7,000-pound axles with 8,000-pound leaf springs. They also have 17.5-inch blacked-out wheels with 16-ply H-rated Cooper tires. But they do a really good job just in the presentation and just giving you a little bit more. Now, continuing down on the passenger side, you see another awning, LED lights on all the awnings, which is really nice. And then they also run LED lights underneath this whole chassis. So just looking at the slide box here, guys, you can see if you look at it over here, if you want to show them, it looks like they missed, but actually there is a, there's some kind of a sealant behind it. And when they put it in, it's just kind of put out, but this is sealed up behind here. And then you have the frameless windows on the slide also, which you usually don't see a lot on the inside of the slide, you usually see them on the outside. If you look on the gutters, you have the gutters with the spouts, extensions, which is a nice thing. And then in the rear, ladder, two air conditioners, 50 amp coach, which is really nice. LED lights throughout. And then we can't get at this, but if you look, there's storage underneath here with double latches. Let's go over to the driver's side. So again, this is our apology. We are at a, we're indoors because it's pretty cold out. So it's tight here. Can't give you all the B-roll that would you like, but LED marker lights, LED docking light. If you look over here, this is pretty interesting how they do this. If you look- If see, I get through this without hurting myself- I it, can't close it, this, but- It is a miracle. You can't appreciate this because the way they, they cut this bay up, you can just access, if you want, just the wet bay. You see it had the magnet, I don't know if you heard that. So here, Again, on a fifth wheel of this price, you have another outdoor shower, satellite, cable, auxiliary hookups, electronic dumps. You can also dump the manual, we have electronic dumps. What's nice about this is that the outlet for the dump is, is just right here, but majority of it is up into the base, which will help with the heat, as well as if you're gonna be camping in colder weather. Only thing that's exposed is the outlet. Also on the interior here, you have your Lippert electronic leveling, if you can see. So that's always a nice thing. And then if you back up a little bit without banging your head, and this is actually a good thing because you can see the height, MJ's not banging her head. This, again, this bay is split. So this door, if you just want to access your dump, you just open this door. This one could be closed. If you want to access your storage, you could open up both. One other thing I want to point out, look over here, LED lights. So if you're out in the dark, you can turn the lights on in here and look how lit up this is. If we're at night, we can see everything that's going on. 50 amp coach, this is really, really nice. A lot of people in the industry are not doing what Brinkley is doing. Now, if you want the complete specs and more information, we'll put the link to Brinkley down below, but I'm gonna give you some important specs. Now, this is the model Z2900. The unloaded vehicle weight is 11,674 pounds. The gross vehicle weight rating is 14,495. The pin weight, 2,081 pounds. So minimum guys is gonna be three quarter ton on this. You don't wanna be pulling this with a 1,500 or a half ton. The axle rating, 7,000 pounds. Spring is 8,000 pounds. The capacity is fresh, 70 25, gray 90, black is 45, the length 32, 11, height 13, 2. So this is a big boy, width is 96 inches, and the cargo storage, which we showed you, uh, the front, we couldn't really show you the back, is a 100 plus cubic feet. I am done on the outside. This really, really shines on the inside. we're inside guys you're in for a treat if you've never seen a Brinkley or even if you have here's another uh, chance for you this is a beautiful beautiful model we're gonna start in the interior living space here so right in the kitchen area right when you walk in you will be in the kitchen area lots of storage so you have huge huge cabinets I always like this little kind of um, area here if you have a Keurig or if you want you know a blender or whatever you have there a lot more counter uh, cabinet space now, I had mentioned something outside that I said to Izzy, I said something's gonna blow your mind in here. Now, when we were at the Florida show and other shows, we have been talking about how the quality in certain higher end manufacturers has been dipping a little bit and things like soft close drawers and dovetail on a lot of the higher end manufacturers have gone astray. Brinkley, every single drawer in this fifth wheel is dovetailed. So. If that's Are they soft close also? They're not. I'm surprised they haven't done both. But, but that door was. I remember. Yes, you, but the, the drawers, the drawers are not. 
Okay. But you're gonna find dovetail on every single drawer in here, so that's great. This, you have a magnetic close. Look at that pantry. I like the LED Huge. light. and then Beautiful, you have an outlet, outlet there. So in nice. this interior living space, guys, you're going to have over 20 outlets just in this area alone. Then you're going to have a Furion fridge freezer, okay, with your French door style. Now, huge island, solid surface countertops. You're gonna have this roller here that's gonna open up to your farmhouse sink. You'd have a pull down sprayer. I don't like the gold looking, but that's like the look now, though. Yeah, There's a lot it's, of it's companies contrasting. Doing it. You know the this beautiful, beautiful sink. You're going to have tons of storage space here. Just open a, a drawer or two, and as you can see, take a look. You got your dovetail there, okay. But even though they're not soft closed, they close nicely. And I can just tell you from some other units we've been on at this show. You can feel the difference the, in the cabinetry. In the, in the quality, yeah. It feels much better fit and finish. Right. This is very cool. You're going to get a double garbage. So you have your garbage and recycling with a little uh, paper towel right there. How awesome is that? They use, there's something over on the table I'm going to show you too, which is really, really cool. On the other side here, you have a nice wide countertop, solid service countertops. Again, you have a three burner Furion cooktop here. You have a decent size oven there, which is great. And then a Furion microwave. I like that they have matched all, even if you don't like Furion, they have matched all the appliances, which I always like when they do that. Plenty of storage here for your dishes and your mugs and pots and pans all around. So yes, yeah, so you're gonna have the soft clothes, on, as you said, on all the cabinets, the drawers don't have them. More cabinet space here, all dovetail. And the bottom one is great, is great for any of your pots or pans. Plenty of room to store there. Then you have your TV. This is on a televator. So once that is down, you have a nice window. The windows in here are beautiful. You're going to get a lot of exterior light coming into the interior. Then you're going to have a huge little storage space there. I just said huge little storage space. <laughs> Huge, really nice storage space. Then a beautiful fireplace. Again, these are great guys. This is 50,000 hours of LED light. So it's for ambiance, but you're also gonna get the heat too. It's a lot of time. Oh, <laughs> okay, and then you have more cabinet storage space up there. Moving into the seating area. So in terms of sleeping, this is a real, look at the couch though, isn't it? It's nice, right? It's, it's not your, it is very cozy in here. This is a trifold sofa. So this is gonna open out and you have an extra sleeping area. And then what they, they use the space very, very well. So you have storage under here, you can keep, you know what I just thought of? I'm gonna date myself. I said, I almost said you can put your TV guide there. <laughs> Put in the comments below if you know what a TV guide is. I'm TV sorry. guide. Why did that come into my you mind? Put your globe. <laughs> then you're gonna have, look at this storage. So you have that hidden storage there and then you have more outlets. You have USB right there. Same thing on the other side, more outlets, USB. And this is surrounded by those beautiful windows. You're gonna have these, I like the shit. That's at, nice. See, that's quite, that, you're not like, you don't have those flimsy kind of shades that come down. So that's really, really cool. Tons of storage up here. This is, there's no divider. So you have the whole length of the, you know, this rear cap where you're going to be able to store baskets of things or whatever you want to put in there. Another thing I noticed, the lights, I know you hate the puck lights. There's no puck lights here. Right. And yeah, they have the recessed lighting, which is beautiful. And they have these beautiful, this is kind of like an antique style. I, I, it reminds me of like when we go to Williamsburg and you mm -hmm. go to those old restaurants, you know, it's like, it's like old time lighting. And then all this lighting guys in here, and then you'll see it on the bedroom too. Everything's on dimmer switches. Okay. So all those recessed lights will dim to whatever, you know, brightness that you want. So then moving into your theater seats, you have a charger here. Now these are not powered. But what I like about these is that you have your little massage there, USB, but look how easy this is to put it. That was no effort at all. A lot of times recliners you have to, or theater seats, you have to push. If they're not powered, they're tough to get down. And then you have some storage in between those theater seats. Okay, so you can keep your remotes, your many remotes that come with the RV. Standing up, you're gonna see these are, these are flush slides. You're not gonna have any carpet on the slides. The ceilings and the slide height is tall. So on our slide, I don't really bang my head much anymore, but I did for a long time. This, there's, there's no banging my head. And I'm just gonna show you have more storage up here. Again, no divider. So you have that whole length there where you're able to store anything you like. 
And then more residential feel on this dinette. So you have this dinette, you have a booth. I feel like it's a restaurant, right? Like you have the booth and you have two chairs. Look at how cool this is. You talk about use of space. Well, first of all, gorgeous windows. All that sunlight's gonna be coming in. Look at this, guys. This is so cool. Yeah, you have a built-in cool. silverware tray, so you, you don't have to get out. You know, you have everything right here. If you have your dishes, serving spoon, whatever, and it's nicely hidden and tucked away so you don't even see that. And you also have more outlets under the table. What I also love, the use of lighting in here around the island, you have beautiful LED lighting underneath, so it gives it just a nice glow. This, there's pet options here, here too. So we said that grill on the front of the door there to kind of keep the pets from destroying the screen. You have your little pet bowls here, right? It's great, there's no carpet, so you're not gonna be getting that hair. You have more outlets here, again, over 20 outlets in this area alone. Okay, in here, this is right in, when you enter the RV, you're going to have all your controls. You'll see your tank levels here. You'll have your awnings, your lights. This is where the dimmer is. So this is your max air fan controls as well. And then you have a coat closet, which is awesome. And then more storage up above. So you can keep shoes and guess what's in the coat closet? Outlets for some reason. Well, you could probably put awesome. like a vacuum or something if you want to plug something yeah. in there. Couple steps up into the next level. So we're head into the bathroom which is a beautiful, beautiful, large bathroom. So here's your linen closet. Gray is very popular now, as we know. Put in the comments below if you like the gray interiors that we're seeing. So you have a nice porcelain toilet. This is a petal flush, okay, if you like that. A lot of winterizing fluid in here. So you have a one-piece residential shower. It's really a good size. Look at the lighting again, that use of the nice back LED lighting, which is really good. You have a removable sprayer here, a nice faucet, like that rain shower, built-in places for your shampoos, conditioners, whatever. This I love. Ladies, you wanna shave your legs? Guys, you wanna shave your legs? Whatever. That's a perfect place for it. At this price point, again, you don't often see one piece fiberglass right. with a glass door yep, with yep. that more complicated, more expensive right. faucet option. Right. So it's pretty it's nice. It's really, really nice. They also give you towel hooks here. You have a mirror for yourself. And then you're also going to have a mirrored medicine cabinet, which is a really good size. You have your GFCI outlets, 110 outlets here. Little light switch for you. Area on the sink, solid surface countertops, again, where you can keep any of your, you know, makeup or spray, hair, whatever, towel ring, more storage underneath, and then an actual- Strong magnets. There's your plumbing. In the bedroom, we have a queen size bed. You're going to have storage above the bed, on the side of the bed, and then on the lower end of the bed, you have kind of a nice little nightstand on each side. You have outlets on both sides, lights on both sides. So all your needs are met there. I like the uh, the height in here. It's gonna give you a lot of room. You do have a TV. You're going to have your one AC in here, that rear AC, and also three hooks for you there, which come in handy. All the lights in the the bedroom also are on a dimmer, so that's great. You're going to have a lot of storage under the bed. So this bed is going to lift up, gonna give you tons of storage to keep anything extra blankets or anything that you need to keep under there. So let us talk about the price, the MSRP, as well as the price for Myers RV in Branchville, New Jersey. All right, so the MSRP we are looking at is $102,601. And the show price is $84,897. Of course, this that is, is the show price, right. it's negotiable. This is here with Myers RV. We love Myers RV in Branchville. They're such a nice bunch of people. People. We love them. They kind of opened this up for us to do for you. Yeah, so if you're interested, contact Rosie. Rosie, Rosie's our girl. Myers RV and Branch Hill Times saw it on our channel and they'll set you up with a great deal. And they got really good reviews, especially at that branch. Yeah, do you like this guys? Put in the comments below, what do you think of Brinkley? And if you like videos like this to the left of us, we'll put our RV tourist playlist, we'll put our RV newbies playlist. And for myself and MJ's journey of a lifetime and we'll see, see you on, on the, the road. road.